I know that we live in an era where we just discourage each other from making New Year's resolution. Is it comes from we make the resolutions and then we never actually uh, get to doing them. But I thought, what have I got to lose? Um, so I made two. I'm gonna be a little bit positive. Instead of expecting people to always drop bombshells and be cruel and be mean to me, I'm just going to let things be, you know? I'm just gonna be positive about things and be like, what happens, happens, but I'm not going to always waiting for doom to happen. One main reason is because living under a dark cloud is exhausting. It takes so much energy to be negative. It takes so much energy to be miserable, to be sad, to be always expecting the worst. It takes so much. Trust me, I know, I live it. So I thought 2022 is the moment to be a bit more positive, a bit happier. <laughs> My goodness, I'm just feeling ridiculous just saying it. But I'm going to be a little bit more positive and a little bit happier. I want to put some silver on that dark cloud that hoovers around me. You know, have some rain, drink some water. <laughs> Speaking of drinking water, I have resolution number two. I want to drink a lot of water next year. I barely do that. It's just healthy and it's going to help me with the positive thinking doesn't want to help with like getting a lot more and <laughs> oxygen going to the brain or something oh god i do not know the science to that but i know that it's good for my skin so my second year's resolution is to drink more water my water tastes like shit it's tasteless but it tastes like shit so It's amazing. And since I don't plan on changing diapers in my 30s, uh, that'll be all.